Hello, my name is Deacon Westfeld, and I have several, I have three experiments today, and my overall theme of my experiments is called Fun with Maya's Physics Engine. Um, the first experiment I want to go over is Galileo's concept of inertia. Um, basically, the, the experiment where he drops uh, two objects from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, the first one I want to show you is the one with, with wind resistance. Um, both these balls, one has a mass of 1 and the other has a mass of 200, which the red has the mass of 200. And you can see the, the, the red ball falls faster because of the mass. But without, with the absence of wind, uh, wind resistance, let me find the right file. Um, you can see, um, regardless of the mass, they both fall at the same speed. And this has just been rendered out of Maya um, using Maya's physics engine. I just wanted to make sure that's clear. I, I, I rendered it out just to save some time. Um, and the second one is Newton's law of motion. Um, and basically, this here's the setup. Um, is there's um, let me pause. Uh, they the cylinders both have a mass of one, and the cubes have uh, uh, the red cube has a mass of two, and the blue cube has a mass of one. And the the two cylinders have an initial vo velocity of ten, kind of shooting forward to hit um, the 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 cubes. And so we're we're using the um, equation acceleration equals the net force uh, divided by the mass um, and if I open up my here here's the actual simulation uh, let me clear, clean this up um, and uh, if you can see it's the same exact uh, simulation um, but let me go to why is my channel box not showing anything oh I gotta select something um, as you can see this one has a mass of two uh, right here and this one has a mass of 1 and if if you since the equation is uh, net force divided by mass if I add add um, mass to this it should then create the same distance since the the mass of both objects are the same as this one even though this one's mass of 2 these both have a mass of 1 they're both divided to the same thing so they cover an equal amount of distance. All right, um, let me go ahead and minimize that and close this. Uh, so the next thing, um, the last experiment, was the uh, conservation of momentum um, using the elastic collision, trying to replicate um, that uh, desk toy where the balls bounce um, on both ends, but the balls in the middle kind of stay the same, um, transferring the energy. But unfortunately, I was very unsuccessful in replicating this in Maya. Um, but I want to go ahead and show it to you anyway, my failed attempts. Ooh, geez. Let me open it in uh, quick time. Maybe that will work better. Uh, and it's really slow. But anyways, um, I, I tried this several, several times. It didn't work. Um, and it's not opening. Why not? Let me close that in this. I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, my more successful um, animation here. Oh, here it goes. So this is as close as I got with the transfer. Again, it's a failed attempt. I couldn't figure out why, and I'm just going to blame it on Maya and saying that the Maya simulation just doesn't uh, work with elastic collision. Um, so that that's it. Um, those were my three experiments. One was Galileo's concept of iner uh, inertia. Newton's second law of motion was the second, and the conservation of momentum was the third experiment. Um, I hope you had. To, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you.